it's your two favorite YouTubers, and we are back from Italy. And whoa, do we have an episode for you. To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. All of Italy, a country of 60 million people, is now effectively a red zone. In light of the coronavirus scare and everything that was going on, we got to go and see the Coliseum, the Trevi Fountain, the Pantheon. With no more um, fucking line. And the Sistine Chapel. And the Sistine, the Sistine Chapel. Chapel. We, Chapel. Have you ever been to the Sistine Chapel? I don't know how many people hit us up and was like, please go see the 16th chapel as if there was 15 other chapels in the area that we had to see and they wanted us to see the 16th one um but it is actually the Sistine chapel what's um, a Sistine? what's a Sistine? it's named after i don't know how to say his name i'll put it right here um it's named after the person that was involved in like so we went to the vatican vatican city after him vatican city was that was cool something, something history seeing all that shit was cool we Facts. roamed around fucking rome for like so, three days Fucking get this, guys. We know what's going on out there. The most active hotspot right now is Italy. Nearly 200 people there have died in just the last 24 hours. I mean, behind me, these are the funeral announcements. We consciously made the decision to go to Italy, knowing that there's a coronavirus scare whatever you know what i mean if we get it we're gonna have to be quarantined for i think i might know, have it two weeks that if we're come in contact we know what we're getting into you know what i mean self-isolation all the stuff we go we know we're healthy we work out every day shit, we eat it. well everything okay like AIDS. we go to italy we have an amazing time no lines they say on average to go see the Coliseum and go inside, the average person waits in line How for long? up to two hours oh before God. they can get a we ticket. We would have never went inside. I would have not gone inside. We're at the Coliseum. Are we? Yeah, so we're going to get the fight to the death right here. Check it out. Check it out. Let's go check it out. <laughs> so we said, fuck it, fuck shopping, fuck it all. We went inside the Coliseum. We're trying to see where all these people got killed at. Where are they? Where are they? Some real dead people shit. All the fighting, all the mayhem up in here. I'm sure y'all seen the gladiator vid. You know what I mean? Look at that. It's definitely worth the $16. 16 euros. 32 euros for a couple. Get your ass in here next time you're in uh, Rome. I don't wait in line. We don't wait. I live in LA. We go to a club. You know somebody there. Somebody's yeah, a promoter. That you don't wait in line. We don't. I don't like to. I don't have a Disneyland pass holder shit because I've been in that shit so many times. I don't wait in line. When I did have a pass, I did not wait in line. I go on a Tuesday. Like you got me fucked up. We did not wait in line for shit. I didn't wait in line to take a photo at the fountain. We're out here at the Chevy Fountain, and it's raining on our head. There was nothing. The last when we go to the to Vatican City. All right, guys, we're here. We made it. We're gonna go take the tour. We have all these like checkers out here, and they're all closed. And when we went to the Colosseum, it was really easy to get in and everything. There was like no line. I don't I think know. This turned into a travel vlog. Yeah, like. We'd be good uh, YouTube travel vloggers. YouTube, yeah, every hotel and place ticket airline company that wants us to review their places, go ahead and hit us up. We're into it. We're here for it. Um, so, yeah, Vatican Museum. So we almost went inside the church, and y'all know we ain't here to pray. We are here to see Michelangelo's work of art, like I have on my collar. Shout out the pin museum. Shout out my new little pin right here. Oh, so cute. Shout out uh, um, Beyond the Streets. Shout out Dead People Shit, where you can buy a jacket, cool as ours. Actually, this one's for sale on there right now. If you want to check it out, you can go ahead and shop that shit. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Like this video if you want more videos. Like it whether you want another video or not. 
or not. Or a lot. Or a lot. If you want a lot of videos or not a video, I don't give a fuck. If you watch this video, if you get to this point in the video, just hit the like button, mash it, share it, like it, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your grandma. Uh, we post it on Facebook. We're on Facebook. I don't know. Blake's got new music coming. Mm -hmm. So. Where do we buy a ticket? go to the Sistine Chapel the next day they shut Vatican City down the Vatican is shutting down its museums as a precautionary measure against the coronavirus the Holy See press office announced Sunday the Sistine Chapel and other tourist areas would be closed until April 3rd as the disease spreads in Italy oh my god you don't understand within 24 hours of this amazing vacation that we have through Rome this life changing this Bucket list halt. style <laughs> vacation. It all just came crashing to a halt. Life in Italy has officially crawled to a halt. People are finally taking the country's lockdown seriously. Like, then what? Then what happened? We leave Rome. We go to Milan. Our our whole intent was to just shop our way through Italy, as we've been telling so you. We guys. hopped on a flight. We Italy, hopped on a flight and like then, nothing. And we, we left Milan. Rome. Empty as shit right now. Everybody's scared to fly right now. Hanging out in this empty ass airport. We landed in Milan. What happened when we landed in Milan? It was vacant. We checked into our room. Everything was Gucci. Everybody was so nice. We thought, well, it's kind of late. You know, it's like maybe like 11, just about 11 o'clock when we get what there. Happened? We get in there, we settle in, we take a shower, we turn on the TV. Breaking news. Where tonight, a travel ban for Italy has just come into effect. Anyone travelling from the European country won't be allowed to enter. Breaking fucking news. Then, then what Blake do? Travel what ban. Blake, what Blake do? What do you do? Milan, the north, is on shutdown. What Blake do? Lockdown. What Blake Quarantine. do when you saw that? Blake threw his clothes on, went downstairs to double check, fact check everything. I'm on my phone fact checking. Blake's on his phone fact checking. We go downstairs. They they tell us the hotel is so nice. They tell us, oh yeah, maybe, yeah, there is a travel ban. Yeah, there is the quarantine. Yeah, maybe if you want to leave the city, you might want to leave tonight. Me and Blake are in a frenzy, okay? We It's 11 o'clock at this point. We don't know if this travel ban Listen, is going to happen. If they're going to issue it at, for the next day, wouldn't they issue it at midnight? So I'm like, all right, let's get the fuck out of here. They, bam, they bam, bam, bam. They put this decree in order on a weekend when there's no people in the courthouses. Nobody Who does that on the weekend. This is, this is an, That's a some state Monday of type emergency. shit. That's some Monday type shit. The, Anyways. The, the coronavirus and the whole everything fast forward, getting fast sickness forward. to what that happened? Then what happened? is one thing. Travel ban and not being allowed back into our country is a completely... All right, no, different no, situation. Fast forward, no, fast forward. Fast forward. We first thing they're like, it's closed. You're not gonna be able to get a ticket. We rushed to the airport. We were within 15 minutes of the airport from our hotel. We get to the airport. The airport Felt shut like down. A refugee, a little refugee. Empty. The guy was like, Oh no, you can't get a flight. There's no flights. You can't buy a flight. You can't do nothing. None of that. So what do we do? We gotta get the fuck out so of we Milan. Went to the train We're in the station. north where they're so about to. So I was to like, let's get a train to Rome. Traveling from one from part of <coughs> Milan to Rome will become illegal. People traveling will become get tickets, be put in jail, travel banned through the country. Okay? okay, so then what happened? We booked it. We got back into an Uber. We booked it all the way to the train station. The train station is thirty minutes more inside the country like inside Milan inside the, the north, epicenter, epicenter of the whole in where the everybody's middle. infected and dying out. when you see on the news they're at that train station <laughs> that entrance at the train station with all those guys <laughs> we were right I walked there. through and touched everything we were right there asking for information and they were like you cannot get a train till five o'clock and we cannot guarantee that the trains will be working we at five o'clock we can't tell you that there'll be outbound trains inbound trains we do not know in the morning we are just here to like guard this shit no one's in or out what do we do we hook him get back into uber we book it back to the airport 
in the in the car i buy tickets so that we can get our asses out of there and back to rome fuck venice we're not going to venice anymore we're getting the fuck out of M milan and for like what the next four hours because the airport doesn't open until 4 or 5 o'clock just so we can get people that are and working there besides other. the security. We sat there. We could not sleep. We could not eat. We could have went back to the hotel. Too. We could have slept through the night. We could have. But have there's, there's no. we couldn't have slept. We don't know if we'd get back into our country. We sat there. We made sure we got our asses on the first plane out. As we what? were sitting there, as we were sitting there, they're canceling flights to Naples. Canceling all the flights up north. <laughs> Telling like it's just popping up on the screen, so you could understand the stress around her. Okay, then we then we got to Rome. Then what? Then we got on so the to Rome. So after not being able to contact anybody because we don't have an Italian number and we're calling on payphones and doing the one eight hundred numbers and making sure our asses are Gucci, we get on a plane, a one hour and a half plane to get to no. Rome. Boom! Now we're in Rome, bitch. We're out of Milan. Okay. First, now what? First, that was my idea, because I mean, I knew if we got to Rome, because it's a little get... ass hotel, I mean, a little ass airport in Milan, so we got to the major one, and then we're like, all right, let's call American Airlines. Okay, so let me tell you, though, let me remind you, within the amount of time that it took us, 11 o'clock midnight to now 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, they issued a thing that said that, yeah, you can take the flight that was already booked. So thank God we booked a flight to Rome. By the time 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock our flight actually takes off and we land in Rome at 8.30, they issue a travel ban for the entire country of Italy. Italy's government on Monday announced that it was expanding travel restrictions to the entire country amid growing fears over the spread of the novel coronavirus. Italian Premier Giuseppe Conti made the announcement one day after the government had imposed similar restrictions in the north of the country. So if we wouldn't have left Milan that night, there was no telling if we would have even made it to Rome. If we didn't make it to Rome, so there was no telling that we would have been able to switch our tickets. Life. Thank God. We booked our tickets way before the coronavirus outbreak. So when we called American Airlines, they totally took care of us once we finally got the 800 number. And you know what? It took us hours to find the 800 number because everything was a plus 00939 and all that stuff. And so the the uh, the the British guy, the UK people at the United at American Airlines couldn't help us. The 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 women that spoke it. Italian and English everybody basically everybody who was foreign at the foreign American airline booths could only give us the foreign numbers to help and somehow our phone connected to an 800 number that was American and oh my god that lady saved our lives Blake saved our lives and got me home safe um, that shit it took 16 hours she put us on the first plane from Rome to Philly we went through three coronavirus scans. So I'm out we here spreading through, it. We went through three I coronavirus scans. I think I might have it. I think I might have it. I think I snuck it through the scan. Back. I think I snuck it through the scan. So um, the outbreak in Los Angeles. We've been home I am now. patient zero. We have not felt any symptoms. I feel a little sick, feverish. Uh, we my eyes are healthy. A little, Okay, we haven't been. We've symptoms? actually self isolated for the past no, couple I days been. I've been walking because and we've shit. gotten scanned three times, and we don't know <coughs> if any of you guys have even gotten scanned. So we kind of want to be. We're clean, um, and you're. We don't know if you are or not. We yeah, let me uh, see your results. We stockpiled water um, because of the storm that we're experiencing in LA, not because of the coronavirus. <laughs> Anyways, the food. How was the food, Kiki? The food was amazing. The pasta, fresh pasta. There's nothing like it. We ate everything. I don't think we got pizza, though. We did not get pizza. That's one thing. The pizza kind of looked like a... Uh, we got a lot of focaccia. A lot of gelato on every not street. Not even enough gelato. We could have ate more. Definitely could have ate more gelato. For as many gelato spots as there were, um, I thought we would have ate more gelato. Yeah, imagine not seeing a Starbucks for six days. Something about the chain restaurants, how they don't have, like, chains. There was no chains. Like, I, there was a McDonald's. I, there was, like, maybe, like, four McDonald's. Besides the airports, there's, like, nothing Everything's, like, family-owned, which is kind of cool. It's, yeah, you can have six markets on one street, and everybody's thriving. Mm -hmm. And they each carry pretty much the same and different things. 
and then in between that there's like four cafes and then in between that there's like two restaurants and then on every corner gelato um the every single what'd corner. you think of the the shopping like the bootleg or first of all how like the regular um alley type stuff the the bootleg stuff what do you think about well, the stuff that they there? every street it seemed like there was some type of uh set up on every street you know what i mean i almost felt like i was in the center of downtown la how you know you could just walk down the street and somebody has some kind of merch for you, you not know? too much like bootleg. shirts though you no know? they have a lot of like imitation bootleg more bootleg valentino than i've ever seen in my life i've never seen that <laughs> much valentino bootleg in my life but um burberry like a Burberry print, they had a bootleg polo. I saw some bootleg, uh, very, 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 very bootleg um, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> um, what else? Um, the people are nice, very welcoming. Um, <clears throat> except um, they were so welcoming. Except this, that's the first place I've been to, and like I didn't get offered drugs in the first forty-eight hours, which was kind of weird, being in a major metropolitan city and nobody was like weed or anything that was kind of different you know what i mean so i wonder how strict their laws are there we bought um, some free i mean we bought some cbd weed we did try the cbd weed over. the legal weed legal weed was pretty tight we got some og kush with kim jong-un's face on it kiki will show you that it, there's you that. already seen the picture I already <clears throat> probably did my editing skills and you're looking at it right now uh, what about the what about the thrifty <laughs> The little patches. Do you think it's like half the people aren't here? Or do you think it's like half empty all the time? Maybe we're early. Maybe we're early? What time do you have? Oh, I think if we're just on, we're on the early, this is like, we're just, we got more to come. One aisle at a time, eh? Oh, cashmere. Sucker. Sucker for cashmere, babe. Buy her cashmere to keep her. See that whole corner we didn't get to? A little uh, hill figure, polo, Adidas, all these little the uh, what do we call them? The thrift, the thirst thrifters. That's how they go crazy for that shit. They be like, oh, I got a haul, uh, twenty dollars each. Going now, going hot, going fast. You can buy it by the lot. <laughs>
little babies. Look at is that Marshall, Marshall Mathers pants? <laughs> Oh my god. Wasn't he, isn't he hot again? Is, he's so hot right now. Can we go down that way? I'm like, no, what? Is that it? Where are we going? Grab this way? Ciao. You have uh, ones with lots of patches? Yes, I have. Lots of patches. I like this one. I have many, many, many. I like this one, baby, right? Follow, follow him. Follow him? him? Do you see this one, baby? This one's very nice. Maybe two of them. Original American. Original, yeah? Yeah, later, yeah. Mm hmm. How much? How much? It's 450 euro. 450 euro? Is uh, 350 and this is uh, 250. Do this one have patches too? No. No. I have another side. Basically. Okay. But follow him. Where okay. do you go? Okay. I can get this base. Yeah. Yeah. This one. Yeah, this one. 450 euro. This one. All right. You have more? Any more like that? No, this is the only one. Only one. Uh, size for you, eh? Yeah. Oh, shit. Spice Girls. It's mixed, I feel like. You know what I mean? Oh, 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 oh. Right side, that is some green. Oh my gosh. I wish those were my size right there. So many of them are now. Same thing in the eye. You never know. <coughs> See what it is? There's a bunch of bombers and stuff down there. Over here. The braid hair here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Did we? Oh yeah, we did, huh? Because we went through those jackets. I think that's it. I All think right. we're just early. No, like I mean, people are still setting up more and more. Uh, yeah. There might be like a back row we didn't do, but we might do. You see this one you with silver? Mm -hmm. Wow, good ass. Fun, no? Maybe Nike, you never know. Where's the other side? Down here. Nowhere to start, baby.
I don't know where to start. Loud print. Well, hello. Anything? It's all wild. It's okay. It's all wild. Mm-hmm. Is, is, that, is that a flag? I saw you more close, baby. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, color, huh? You all right? Hmm? You smiling? Yeah, if you're gonna wear it. What color? You like How color? much? Five euros, five euros, good bag. Do you have five euros? Mm, yeah. Is it vintage? It's a mirror, it's a mirror. Ish, like mm. 2,099. How many euros do you have there? Twenty. Twenty. Four, maybe. Three or four. Mm -hmm. No uh, t-shirt, band t-shirt. No band t-shirt. Oh, uh, okay. No? No more. Did you know? No. Last one didn't have anything for us. But hey, if you're out there by the Coliseum and you need a jacket or like any kind of ball gown to go out to eat, that would be your spot. Halloween costume. Halloween costume, sweater, they had it for you. But they didn't have nothing for us. What did you think about the, the, well, the vintage shopping? Okay, so vintage. we went to vintage. We went to a couple vintage I stores. I liked it. Let's try this spot. This What's spot called, is called What's Mall called? Mall Flanders. Where is it at? What? And... This is Mall Founders. We're right here. Shut. What? So. There's a seven minute walk to the next vintage store. And I think it's called, I hope I'm not butchering this. Fly, flyball? Feeble? Flyballs. P I E F E B O. Feeble. Feeble Vintage. Let's see.
we made it we're here less than 10 percent if i cut out i'll apologize later let's see what we got Everything. Kiki just, I was almost trying to buy something, Kiki. This thing's a lot. Everything that we wanted was not for sale. So, all those bomb ass jackets you've seen on the wall, all the bomb ass vests, everything with a patch, everything that was hanging up on not the wall, sale. basically, not for sale. Everything that was in that glass case, those Fendi boots, that Gucci, that Dior, not for sale. So, we left empty handed. I tried to get a crop top, but they were all little like Adidas Nike crop tops. Like, I could, get, I could crop a top at home. So, we are walking through Italia empty handed, just like we do back at home. Same, same. <laughs> <laughs> One more stop. We got 5%. It's I called King pee. Size. Lake has to pee. Let's see if we can find something. Outside, twice vintage. Still in Rome, guys. We're finding vintage shops in the cut. Let's check it out and see Something what they got. On that skewer right there. Oh, this little spit right here. Oops, excuse me. Look at this. Look at this meat on a stick. 
Is it close? No. Oh, eh. scusi. Eh, allora ci vediamo domani, dai. Ci vediamo domani. I'm gonna have to give Twice Vintage my um, stamp of approval. They have, they're my favorite shop in Rome so far. What do you think? They had a really good selection, but their best stuff wasn't for sale, and um, the other stuff wasn't my size, and it was too big of the sizes for me to bring back home, kind of. You know what I mean? So. But I would definitely return. I'll definitely go back. And I want to give this word of advice to everybody. Don't put stuff in your store on display that's not for sale. That's weird. It's so weird. If you don't want to sell it, put a high price tag on it. Don't sit there and insult people by like wasting their time. Like don't put stuff on display that's not for like and let it just doesn't make any sense. It's a thing just, they do like. Just put it, they do it in America too. They do it everywhere. And you guys want to show off your fucking collection. And it's not cool. Like you think it looks cool. You think it's cool. No, this music is gonna ruin my rant. I like. I really like the vintage stores out there. I love the uh, the selection that they had. But also, I didn't like that they had a lot of cool things that were just on display. But they, were, they didn't say that they were display items. It just said not for sale. You can tell they uh, definitely have a tough time finding uh, American, which is understandable, American, um, old American vintage stuff in. Okay, granted. There. Granted, okay. But then you think 
they're in Rome, the capital of Italy. They're so close to Milan. They're so close, much, yeah, so much more closer there wasn't a lot of to, to Spain or anything like to, that. Yeah, you Old would think that there designer. would be all this vintage designer galore, like shitting out their ass, but there wasn't that either. Maybe like most of the stores that had the designer in there, it wasn't even for sale. Again, it was for a display. So I couldn't even say how much is this? Like what's up with this? Nothing. It was just in a case. And it was like they had their own collection there. It sucks collecting things that aren't gonna get used because what happens to products is they start to do dry rot, they start to mold, they start to get hard. They, You're not loving it. There's no oil, there's no life being put into that product and that product literally starts to deteriorate. Like what's the point of having it if you're just gonna sit there on a shelf? It's gonna become like a statue. You're gonna let it wither away as the art that it wasn't meant to be. Clothing art, like wearable art, is meant to be worn. So don't forget that. Um, they And then we went to their little, um, they have like a thing called Humana. Humana, which, yeah. Which is like their kind of, sal it's like a high-end Salvation Army or Goodwill. That kind of thing, yeah. It's not over, Kiki. Want to know why? Why? Because Humana is across the street. And that is their like um, crossroads Salvation Army type thing. Kind of Goodwill kind of vibe. All right. We got, we got to try it out. Let's see. Let's see if this will save us. Since the coronavirus is trying to put me out of the, the YouTube game, I ain't going to let it happen. out as usual didn't find shit that we wanted they had some uh <laughs> they have a lot of fila nike some kappa. champion kappa a lot british I'm not into some sweatsuits though <laughs> no fuck suits on our site i mean uh they got some they got track suits they got stuff that you know it almost looked like Nike, it was... Nike tracksuits kappa there's some kappa there's it some pretty, stuff it almost looked, uh, what would you call it? curated like a curated uh, Salvation Army. Everything was five pounds, so no matter what you want, it's a shirt, pants, skirt, five pounds. So that's cool, you know what you're getting into. And there wasn't, any, like, you didn't have to sort through a bunch of stuff if you found something you liked. Mm -hmm. That was kind of cool, you know what I mean? Clean. Yeah, it was clean, friendly. Um, hmm. But yeah, all the stores, the stores were pretty nice, you know? Yeah, nice, friendly, friendly people. <laughs> it was a shame that everything was being closed down due to the um, to the virus and the epidemic. So we just want to hope everybody's at home, um, not going insane. Um, Make sure you stock up on all of the toilet paper. Toilet paper! Can, <laughs> all the hand sanitizer. Make sure Wash you, your oh my hands. God, buy all the- Wash your hands. Okay, if you need help, um, you can go listen to, to Blake's new song, Go Listen to Blue. There's instructions on our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook how to sing to Blake's music and wash your hands properly. Um, at least 30 seconds, you know, if you really love yourself, just fucking get the bat, do the oh whole arm, God. take a shower, fuck it, you know? So um, that was our Italy trip. And, and don't be mean to eventful. people wearing masks because that doesn't mean that, you know, they're uninformed. They might have symptoms and they're not trying to pass it to you. Um, like our video, subscribe, shop. Um, everything's disinfected. We've disinfected everything. You won't. We don't have the, the virus, and you won't get it from shopping. We're our back shit. in the office, so, so all orders are. All orders are headed out. Um, shop. All orders placed before three o'clock get sent same day, except weekends. Um, free shipping through Etsy. 
uh, for orders over $35. And, um... Is that it, Kiki? Is that, is is that, that, is that it, shitheads? Is that all you got? I could keep, I could keep going. I could keep talking, but... We're happy to be back. I'm happy to be back. That was fun. And it, it, it especially really fun. with no lines. It I was, couldn't imagine doing that shit with lines. Yeah. Um, so. Alright, guys. Enjoy.